What's up, boys? It's my commute. Lord walk from down there. Very depressing for the commute, boys. I live in a. Well, I live. I go, I go to a nice big office. Very so nice. I have corridors, but I fucking hate my life. Everything's just depressing. I, I packed on a bit of fat recently. By bit of fat, I mean a lot of fat. And then you only have like a five pound lunch um, wallet expense. So you spend, you spend five pounds maximum and they'll compensate you that. And then after that, I'm an idiot right now with the camera. I don't even care. Oh man. It might look sunny right now, but it's cold as shit. It is a British weather. It might look. Like nice from another angle. You feel good, like oh, you're working in the office. Wow, great! Or you make connections. Like I haven't made a single. I mean, one okay connection. He got me a client, so I got him like two thousand dollars worth of courses and books and shit. Let's pay back. So now he's just like, uh, he, I'm in his debt. So if I would ask a favor, I would feel fine. Some minute for it was a power manipulative shit. But not really. It's just. It's a requirement of the client, give him money. That'd be nice. Anyways, you only have like a five pound like lunch spending amount. And after that, like, what can you get for five pound, bro? At least for food. That's like six dollars. Bro, you can get chicken and chips. That's it. I mean, a fizzy drink. The unhealthiest of the unhealthy. And I ate kebab yesterday. Combo donor kebab for eleven pounds. Only twelve pound fifty. Doesn't matter. It's a one pound fifty difference. And what ended up happening, what ended up conspiring was, they told me after, and after my friend asked, well, was, I didn't even ask myself. But I thought they'd just cover it, like twenty pounds and shit. I didn't think for twenty pounds. Right? Nope. I can't afford twenty pounds. Fucking hell, man. Did you know, guys? This life is depressing. Office work, my ass. I don't feel happy at all. I don't feel filled at all. I don't feel free at all. I feel quite trapped, if anything. I feel so trapped. I feel like everything's just coming in under myself. And so I should have grinded on YouTube back then when I was at home doing nothing. I should have done this, I should have done that. You know, these are useless thoughts, they're true. And it fucking hurts, man. That would take two bucks to work. It effectively work at this point. It's free work. And it's bullshit work. They got us applying for jobs at the end. Just in case we can't get the job they're gonna offer us. I got another traineeship in line for eight weeks. This is four weeks, so I can handle the four weeks. I'll contact the other traineeship, another college. So I can try to do that uh, for cyber security because that pays money but even then I don't want to do that I don't care ideally I could create content I could work in my own shit make my own business I'm trying to sell my own business make my own money that way but you know be realistic Jimmy don't chase your passion and dreams that's unrealistic society and Gorami always manages to crush that shit down um, if I get a job, I'll probably just save money. I don't want to make it big. So I just feel like I'm doing the wrong thing. I feel like I'm doing the wrong thing. My intuition is like, bro, you shouldn't be doing this. It's fucking the ass. It's horrible for you. I feel like shit. I dressed up and everything. But I just still took the fucking off. I don't know if you can hear me because of the, the highway. I dressed up in shit. Okay, never mind. I'm not it. It's basic as fuck. <laughs> but I'm just doing it to go to work. I'm going for the bus. This is bus in the middle of fuck all. It's the 192. Then I hit the 123. So if any of my subscribers will come here after me, or like work commute, then sure. I'll probably upload this by today or. Effectively, no, probably today or effectively tomorrow. I 
Oh, this is so nice. I'm just stuck going to work. It's only the most depressing shit ever. I wish I could. Honestly, I keep thinking to myself about that lifestyle I saw Emily Tate live. And the lifestyle I saw Iman Gaji live. The lifestyle of complete and utter freedom. The lifestyle of complete and utter prosperity, opportunity, luxury, opulence, beautiful girls, everything. And I don't get to live that. I don't, really, I don't get to feel that at all. And even guys, he's never worked a job in a day in his life, is it? By himself. Obviously, he probably worked like, an odd job, but that doesn't count, right? He's doing a proper job, paying minimum fucking wage. He's never worked something like that. I think like, holy shit. A guy who has never worked a job in his life can go about and make a thousand, two thousand a month of SMMA, of SEO, of SEO, SEO gold, of SMMA. Marketing in general, course selling. Oh, I can't lie to you guys, jealousy is. Can you, can you see my breath? Not because my breath stinks. <sighs> and I got a pot next to me as well. I'm second guessing. And when I was at my workplace, I would just think to myself, what the fuck am I doing in my life? This bullshit task. I don't really care about this bullshit task, I'm just doing it. For the sake of doing it. I might be late to work now. And I think I'll be on time, barely. Is it 9.30? It's 9.30. I just see the bus delayed. I don't know what happened. I'm currently second guessing every single choice I've made in life so far. Honestly, this, this form of videoing is my only way out. Whether that's creating videos or making subscribers. I could just make like 500 a month. I know it's a small number, but it's like really small, you shouldn't aim for it. But it's a realistic goal that I probably could achieve. Can I even achieve 500 a month? I'm not even sure. What's going on guys, boys?